So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, the fine folks at Grillville, uh, check them out on grillvilleco.com. Uh, uh, the same folks that I work with uh, at HSN that uh, sell in the best non-stick cast iron cookware you've ever used have taken it to a perforated grill pan outside. And this isn't cast aluminum, guys. This is carbon steel. This is fantastic. So I don't worry about putting it over the fire. Uh, if, if you'd have gone ahead and, and done this with like one of those regular mesh pans, you know what I mean, that has like that thin, thin, mesh that's a disaster over this kind of heat it'll melt it'll do its thing this guy carbon steel and what we've did is we treated it with the same non-stick treatment that we treat our cast iron with that guys is pretty cool so that means that you've got a mesh grill pan that not only is going to stand up to that kind of heat right but it's gonna let you be able to do some of these really cool dishes that you don't normally get to do over a grill like this without a whole lot of trouble sometimes. And what, uh, what I'm talking about is fish. So here's what I wanna do, okay? In any other type of grill pan, if you want to put fish in, flesh side down, it's gonna stick all over the place. You know what, first? Put it in skin side down, you wanna see sticking. That's what I love about working with this grill pan, you guys. Uh, listen, accessories so many times are, are only meant to be uh, uh, you know temporary just last a little bit of time uh, if you if you look around do a little bit of research what you'll find is you can find accessories guys that are gonna last and last and last and last and last season after season can't recommend these guys enough so uh, while that's doing its thing and I'll keep an eye on it All right oh by the way the perforations remember this is not mesh this is a perforated pan see that it's letting the fire and the smoke through that's the magic of, of, uh, of, of uh, you know why people love mesh pans but then they saw how much they stick then they saw how hard they were to work with and people were like forget it now see this by the way look it's just sliding on the pan nothing no butter no oil no grease if you tried that on one of those thin wire mesh pans it's a disaster all right so we're doing good there listen when you're doing fish do it all right uh, it's like anything else even with fruit there's something magical when you pop those in there by the way remember skin on didn't make one darn bit of difference. And you can see this, you guys, it's sliding around. No butter, no fat, no oil. So listen, I'm not gonna sit here and go, ooh, healthy cooking, but you know, healthy cooking. <laughs> so there we go, let's let that do its thing. This is really pretty. Uh, like I said, one of the great things about this pan is the fact that it lets that smoke up, it lets that fire through. That means that you just, you get that constant flavor, just that constant smoky wood flavor that you can't get if you went through a, a skillet up there or if you, uh, you, you know, tried something else. This is the only way you're going to get that to happen. You know, work with quality tools and you get really good results. By the way, uh, uh, these guys, if I'm not mistaken, slap a three-year warranty on all their stuff. Can you imagine accessories that come with a three-year warranty? They're basically meant to be seasonal, promotional opportunities for companies to put their name on something, all right? But when you can do that, oh, God, I tell you. All right, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and flip this again. You ready? Let's get this really pretty. That's nice. That's nice. And that's nice. And I want to do that because now's the time to throw in some of our veggies. Now, here's another thing. You know how hard this is to do on a grill? Right. Impossible. See? Not likely. <laughs> that is going to burn, fall through, all that other fun stuff. So, guys, have a look at this. This is beautiful. I'm going to get uh, one of those fancy camera shots of that. That's some sizzling goodness right there. I love it. Look at that. That's that lemon incorporating in with all of those goodies. That's a good way to feed everybody in the whole house. You got the sweet, you got the hot, you got a little bit of tang with the lemon here. We got veggies there so the kids have something to complain about. Watch this. That is just the best darn thing. All right, so I got nothing to clean. All I gotta do is eat. My name's Mark Gill. This has been Marks and the Grill. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you a whole bunch this week.